So line L1 passes through the point minus 9, 2 and the point 3, 6. And we want to find the equation of the line. So what should we do first? Uh, Yusuf, do you know what to do first? Find the slope. Find the slope. Very good. So that would be m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, have you got that? Mm. 1 over 3. Did other people get that for m? 1 over 3. Good. So then we have y equals 1 over 3x plus c. And uh, how do we find the c? We use a point. Uh, what would be the easier point to use? Three, yeah, because... Exactly. Uh, so we'll use 3, 6. And actually, that's nice because they cancel, don't they? So I got C is 5. No, what am I saying? It's, yeah, 5, is it? When? C is 5. C is 5? Yeah. yeah. So you have Y equals 1 over 3X plus 5. Okay, mm -hmm. part 2. R. Just, just put in, like, A. Find the value of A. Yeah, a. So if it's on the line then we should sub it in. So if we put 3a, 2a on this, no, on this, we can get the a. 2a equals minus 9a plus 55. So a equals 5. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Confirm that L1 also passes true. Yes. Or. All right. So, oh, we're not finished. The answer is 15, 10. And now check that that's on the first line. So, if I put that on to Y equals a third X plus 5, I get 10 equals a third 15 plus 5. This is true. So, that is good. Explain why the angle between L1 and L2 is 90 degrees. Well, what's the, the slope? Yeah, what's the slope of the first line? It's 1 over 3. The slope of the second line? Minus 3. When you multiply the slopes together? Yeah, so therefore they're perpendicular. Okay. So that's, that was kind of a little bit harder than normal, but it's good to try hard examples. Uh, the B one looks standard. So, if x plus 2, the remainder will be 2k. So that means I put in minus 2, right? So I get 2 minus 2 cubed plus k times minus 2 squared minus 3 times minus 2 minus 4. That should equal 2k. Uh, 2k equals, what's that, minus 8, minus 16, 16, minus 6, plus 4, is it 10, 4, it's k7? Yes. You got that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 2k is 14. Yes. Yeah, yeah, k7. Next one is a division. Okay. Doesn't look so bad. What should I have first? X squared. X cubed minus 4X squared. Take it away. Minus 13X. Oh, no. Be careful, Stephen. Careful now. Be careful. Mm -hmm. You can see the mistake I made. I should say X cubed plus 0X okay. squared minus 17X yeah. plus 4. Now, X squared. X cubed minus 4x squared. So here I have 4x squared minus 17x. So the next one should be 4x. Right? So that's 4x squared minus 16x minus x plus 4 minus 1 minus x plus 4. Alright, so that's, that's it there. C. 
Anybody say the answer is x is bigger than or equal to plus or minus 3 over 5? No, I Good, because that's wrong. Yeah. So what you're supposed to do here is say 25x squared minus 9 is bigger than or equal to 0. This has two solutions. One of them at 3 over 5 and the other one minus 3 over 5. It's actually a quadratic. It's a quadratic with a equal to 25, b equal to 0, c equal to minus 9. Yeah? Uh, above or below? Above. So we want x to be less than or equal to minus 3 over 5 or x bigger than or equal to 3 over 5. Do they want sets? No. Uh, only two marks for that one. That was B1. Now B2, the probability and trigonometry. I'll give you a couple of minutes again to try it and then I'll do it. No Abdul, no um, no Isa. <coughs> Maybe I'm saying the same wrong. No, he's Oh, he signed. Yeah, sorry, he signed. It's not business. Yeah.
Uh, Carmen, which part are you on? You finished it already, okay. Nadia, which part are you on? I finished B2, great. Ian, mm -hmm. which part are you on? D. You're on, there's a D? D, D, D. Okay. Uh, you said? B. B, okay. No, I'm going. Huh? B. B. And Lucas? B. B, okay. A uh, couple of more minutes and then I'm doing it. Okay, we should start looking at two now, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. A man has to pass two sets of traffic lights. Okay. And um, we have the diagram there. What's the value of A? Alright, well that's easy peasy to start with, isn't it? Uh, what's A? Zero point three five. Correct. The probability that the man stops at boat is 0.39. Find B and C. Okay, if he stops at boat, that would be 0 0.65 multiply B. B. That should equal... So we can get the B, no problem. It will be 0 0.39... What the heck? 0 0.39 divided by 0 0.65... Uh, 0.6. What have I done? <coughs> zero point six. So obviously the C is zero point four. Okay. What well, is the probability that he stops at only one? So that would be stop does not stop mm -hmm. plus does not stop and stop. 0 0.65 times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.35 times 0 0.2, 0 0.33. So I have nine marks, or uh, seven marks already. Okay. Yeah. B is 0 0.6. Yeah. Continue. B. Find the x. What rule could I use to get the x there? I think cosine rule. Oh, and sine or or sine? Well, I don't know if I could use sine rule because I only have one angle. Uh, I just find, uh, the oh, 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 that's so painful, right? Mm -hmm. Cosine rule. But 7 squared equals x squared. Mm -hmm. 
plus 8 squared minus twice x times 8 times cos 60. So, x will be square root as, yes, 7 squared plus, uh -uh, 7 squared minus, uh -uh, sorry, and my square root needs to be bigger. 7 squared minus 8 squared over minus, oh no, it's a quadratic. Sorry, I know it sounded dramatic. Uh, right, uh, what is 16 cos 60? We can work that out. Oh, careful there. 16 cos 60. Eight. Nice. 49 equals x squared plus 64 minus 8x. So x squared minus 8x plus 15? This has roots. <laughs> Did it say that? Yeah. Funny. So we have three or five centimeters as the answer. I don't know, maybe. Use the sign rule. You too? Yeah. And you got one answer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. C. Um, solve. Sine to theta equals minus a half. So that means 2 theta is sine inverse minus a half. Minus 30. How do you get the second answer for sine? Uh, it's 180 minus the first answer. So that is 210. How many answers should I have though? I should have four answers. How do I get the next two answers? By adding 360. Yeah? But I don't want two theta. What do I want? Theta, yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. But one of these answers is wrong. Which one? And how do I fix that? Uh, plus, plus what? Plus 360. 360. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the four answers you should get for part C. 105, 165, 285, 345. Yep. I hope that's half of 570. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now we might get B finished and we could have a look at A. Why? Because we're doing good on time. We're already on part 3. Oh, okay. No, I yeah. Okay, can you try B3 now, please? Did Mark tell you his bicycle was stolen? Yeah. yeah. Being teacher, being student. <laughs> what? I got my bike wheel stolen. Oh. Now, I told Mark many weeks ago to get insurance on his bicycle. Oh. Did he? No. Is there an insurance for a bicycle? You can get insurance for anything. Whoa. That's what we call merit good. Oh, oh economics. Merit good? Yeah. What's a merit good? Something good so people don't buy it. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Would that be like health insurance? Yeah. yeah. But he taught us all those things, but he gave something that wasn't on the syllabus. What? Joint supply. 
Yeah. But half the size. Yeah. yeah, but but he didn't. That there was you know, he didn't tell us what it is. It's almost sneaky like that. Too uh, sneaky. Didn't even expect coming. <laughs> and like Mike hikes in like punch. Mm-hmm. Uh, question for A1. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, don't expression, so, uh... Yeah, is it geometric or aromatic? Oh. It's aromatic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I think so. Will you be sneaky like that? I am never sneaky. <laughs> Stupid question. Yeah, is it 8 a.m.? 8 doesn't mean 8 a.m. That's 24 hours clock, so you have to dose. Oh, okay. I thought that question when I saw it last year. I thought it was stupid. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Who made this question? Not me, I promise you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not one of the teachers at the school, in fact. Oh, really? True. This one was imported. Okay, shall we look at tree now? Yes? B. 
the tree. Uh, okay, Zany. Yes. You figured it was AP? So the formula for AP is UN equals A plus N minus 1D. Did you get that? Yes. So here UN would equal 5 plus N minus 1 times uh, 1.5. That's 5 plus 1.5 n minus 1.5. So un equals uh, 3.5 plus 1.5 n. Okay, part two. When did she pay 59 pounds? 37. 37 you got? Okay. So that is 55.5, is it? equals 1.5 n now I don't have a calculator but this is a hundred and let me do it a hundred and eleven over three three goes into eleven three times with two left over thirty seven yeah. fantastic uh, three find the total after fifty two weeks so that's s fifty two that's equal to n over 2, 2a, plus n minus 1d. Uh, so what's that? 26. Okay, cheating time. Two two four nine. Yeah. Yeah. Pounds. Right. Ah, now on to B. What's the first four terms here? That'd be 6, 12, 24, 48. Right, what's the first term to exceed 300,000? Right, now this, what type, uh, this is actually given to you, 3, 2 power n greater than 300,000. So that's when is 2n greater than 100,000. That is when is 2n greater than 10 power 5. What should I do here? Huh? I mean, uh, the power? 3 or 6 is 3. It's given to you. 3 times 2n. That's the formula. Oh, oh, oh. What should I do now? Uh, log. log, yeah. Log. <laughs> log, log. So n log 2 greater than 5 log 10. So 5 log 2 over log 10. Sixteen point six. So you need n to be bigger than sixteen point six. So n is what? Uh, yeah. Find the sum. Ah, f twenty. A. What's the A here? Uh, Good. 1 minus or N over 1 minus or. So that's minus 1. So that's 6, 2 power 20 minus 1, whatever that is. Uh, what's that? 6 million, is it? Four five zero two nine one six point two nine million. The three significant figures that will be six point two nine million. You don't have to do that. Yeah.
useful now. Please don't break my wire. Oh. Ah! <laughs> there. No, no, that's right now. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, C. What is A? Right. So the coefficient would be seven C two A two X equals two O four one two x squared. So this has to be squared, which means this has to be 5. And uh, what is 72? Twenty one. And that's four. So eighty four A five X squared equals two O four one two X squared. So we don't care about the X squared. So two O four one two divided by eighty four. That's A five. So if I get the fifth root here. No, that's a cube root. How do I get the fifth root? There we go. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's number three done. So now on to four, please. Too much time? Yeah, too much time, I think. <laughs> what? Sorry, how do I open this? Please help me. I want my lollipop. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You saved me.
What does A curve Z mean? Very good. A is being used as an indefinite article and C is being used as the name of the curve. Mm-hmm. I would be so pissed off when there's a question like this. No, no. Use only good language in math class. I'll be so we angry and disappointed <laughs> and aggressive. <laughs> I had plenty of bad questionnaires with Donald. <laughs> Are we ready for number four, or do you need more time? Uh, which one are you on? Five. You skipped four. You looked at it and said, no, thank you. Okay, where are you on five? Oh, good. Um, you said... Yeah, where in four? What part of four? B4, A4, B4, A4. B4, A4. Good. Okay, good. Zaini? Uh, Lucas? Okay, great. Which part? Um, two. Great. Uh, Karen, which yeah. part are you on now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one more minute. I see you've given up on the rest of section B. You're now on A. Yeah? You had enough of section B. <laughs> Let's have a look at four now if you're ready. Uh, Zane, which part are you on? Uh, still B, but almost B. But yeah. Okay, no, okay, one more minute, one more minute. What you doing, Starry? What? Are you doing maths? Yeah. Have you got your phone there? Oh. Playing L L? No. No, okay, that's right, good. 
Ren Ren? QQ? No? Okay, okay. Right, now let's do it. Calculate the K. So at 8 o'clock, what's the N? Um, are we, do we know this? No, the way it works, sorry, they give you the formula. N equals 500 EKT. And 8 o'clock is the beginning. So at 11 o'clock, What's the T? Correct. Tree. Yes. yes. And what's the N? How many people heard it? Three thousand. Yeah, so we have three thousand equals five hundred. E three K. Very good. Divide by five hundred and we get six equals E three K. How do I cancel the E? Log. So log six one over three is equal to k. Hey, I did it. Right, part two. Uh, find it at five o'clock. So what's the n at five o'clock? The t at five o'clock? T is nine at five o'clock? Okay. So that's 500 e k You have it? Yeah. Let me confirm. One zero eight thousand. I don't doubt you for a moment, but I'm going to check anyways. I thought you would be trusting me more. It's my nature. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Um, I think I know why. 108,000. Yeah. I believe you. Every moment. Mm -hmm. Really, I should put in the unit people. Okay, part three. Oh, is the unit can affect our mark? Correct. What's the derivative here? Um, we bring the power down. So 500k E K T, but of course we know what the K is, and in fact we know what the T is. What's the T? Five. Five. So this is five hundred times a third log six uh, times E a third log six times five. Okay, I'll trust you. Do you have it? Sure. Um, Do you have it? You five, said five nine one six point two five. Five nine one six. Okay, so we'll see if that's 5916 then, yeah? The unit though? People. No. Oh, uh, oh rumors. No! no. Uh, Six number. <laughs> you, can, you can, sorry, I said people here, but maybe I should have said rumors. I meant like rumors heard by people, yes. So uh, what do you want? What is it? Rumors? Five. Per hour? Per hour. Yeah. Really? Like, I mean, like, how can you actually put a unit on that number? Because this is rumors over time. I mean, was there a single student who put that unit in the question? And for the answer? Really? Uh, yeah, because huge. I would have told them they need the units. I don't think everybody did it. I'm surprised there was a single student who did that. People don't get the units all the time. Like for example, I forgot the unit on the K in part one. Mm -hmm. Does anybody actually know what the unit on the K is in part one? Uh, this here? Which one? Yeah, with the other unit. The K here. I, I forgot the unit here. Does anyone know it? No. 
Well, have a look at the formula. What's the k for size in the formula? Right. T. Can you see that? What's the unit for T? Hours. Hours. So the unit for K must cancel this. One. one over hour. Yeah, so the K unit here is one over hour. Oh. In this question, there wasn't a mark for the unit. But in this question, there was. Why is this not a suitable formula in the long term? I just wrote down, rumors diminish by time, over time. Correct. However, n equals a times ETT is always positive and diverge. Yeah, the biggest problem here is that this formula always is diverge. divergent. Mm -hmm. However, in real life, a population is less than some kind of limit. So, for example, for the entire planet, it's whatever, 9 billion. So, I would get a mark for my answer. Yep. Wow. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. So, it's divergent, but it needs to be convergent, actually, not divergent. And would we get a question like this? Well, the student cluster did, so of course you would too. But this year you made a question. That's true. And I will tell you something. I do not honestly remember what I made. Wow. And I think I think you will believe me when I say that. Mm -hmm. I think you can believe that's true. Mm -hmm. It seems like something I would do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, past Stephen is a very busy man, like present Stephen, so I don't really remember everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, B. Log base 16, x squared minus 9, minus log base 16, x squared minus 15x plus 36 equals a half. Okay, what should I do first? Divide it. How? What rule? Uh, divide. Divide it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now what's next? Well, we can say 16, yeah? Yeah. What is 16 power a half? It's 4, isn't it? So if I bring this up here, we get 4x squared minus 60x plus 144 equals x squared minus 9. 3x squared minus 60x plus 135, right? No! Thank you. I can divide by 3. Uh, does this have roots or is it ugly? Oh, thank goodness. Right. Let me think. Three and seven. Minus minus, minus of course. Seventeen, right? Yeah. But we do not use the first answer. Why not? They tell us x is greater than twelve. So only this is the answer, and this we reject. Interesting. Very interesting. What's your other way? I don't like up there. I don't like x minus 3 and x plus 3 and x plus 5. And I delete x plus 3 and x plus 3. And I'm not going to like it. That is only acceptable if you know that x cannot be true. 
which you do know because the question says x is bigger than 12. However, if x could be 3, if that was one of the answers at the end, then in your method it's possible you may have deleted one of the answers. Possibly. But that's fine too. In fact, Yeah, it's fine. Okay. okay, number five now, please. Uh, it's one. weird, I don't like when they write it like this. It X is 2, uh -huh. and Y is 1.5. One
Uh, you sir. Yeah. Which part are you on? Five. Mm, one, two. B, yeah? Yeah, B five. Mm hmm Karen, yeah. which part are you on in B5? Yeah. Great. You're not doing B4. Are you done it? You did. Five, B5. Yeah. Done? Oh, good. Clayney? Yeah. C, okay. Keep going. Starry, which part are you on? No. no, don't be shy. What part are you trying? Mm -hmm. A, B, C, or D? Mm -hmm. No problem. See, don't be shy. Mm -hmm. Everything's good. Uh, Yusuf? Which part? Still be. Mm. Interesting. Shall we do five now, or do you want more time? You said, what do you think? You look like you're having a hard time. Yeah. Ian? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Lucas? Um, G -G. Good. Maybe we'll do it now. So part A, find the turning points. All right. So derivative equals... 3x squared, uh, I'm going to do it now guys, 3x squared minus 6x minus 9, uh, and I might as well write down the second derivative while I'm at it, 6x minus 6, okay, so here this should equal 0, divide by, yeah. so my values are minus 3 and 1, 
So x equals minus 1 or 3, correct? And then you get the y by putting this back in here. So did you get the y? Not this one. Uh, what did you get? Like this? Now we need to check which one's the max and which one's the min. So if we put these in here, I can see if I put minus 1 in, I get minus 12, which makes this one the max, because I got a minus 12. Uh, and then if I put the 3 in, I get 18 minus 6, which is 12, which is positive, which makes this one the minimum. So there you go, that's 9 marks. They want you to sketch this now. So part B, X, Y, here is 10, minus 1, which I'll put here, and 15, which would be here, and this is a max. And then the next one is 317, and that would be like up here. And this one is a min. Yeah? Oh, sorry. So that would have it down here. Oh, okay. So this is a max and this is a min. Okay, so you should have something like this. Whoa. Okay. Part C. Part C. Um, solve. Dy dx less than zero. So that means x squared minus 2x minus 3 less than 0, minus 1 and 3. Do we want above or below? Below. So the answer is x is between minus 1 and 3. And D, two students integrated from minus 1 to 0. So, one student got a positive answer and one student got a negative answer. Who is right and who is wrong? Which is the right answer? Positive or negative? Yeah, 13.25 is correct. Since y is positive between uh, minus 1 and 0. So because this is positive here, the integration should be positive. So the mistake the other student made, although they don't ask for it, what do you think their mistake is that they made? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Go on. Ah, no, don't. <laughs> don't be shy. Be like Starry. She's not shy. What do, what do you think you should do? Yes, I think I know what you're saying, yes. Um, he had it backwards. You're supposed to do 0 minus, minus 1, but he must have put in minus 1 first and 0 in second. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Now let's have a look at this. So hard. Hmm? So hard. Mm. 
Maybe I should just do it now since it's so hard. Right. Guys, if you have some of six done, that's great, but I'm just going to do it now. Okay? Figure 3 shows the curve y equals 1 over x and the line L, which is a normal. The line x equals 4 is also shown. Okay. Find the equation of L. Right. Part A. So, the slope, we need to get dy dx. If y equals 1 over x, that means it equals x minus 1. So the derivative will be minus x minus 2, minus 1 over x squared. Uh, but what is x here, if you look at a? Yeah, so this would be minus 1 over a quarter, which is minus 4. But that's for the tangent. That's for this line. We want the normal, which is perpendicular. So what's the slope for us? Correct. So we have y equals a quarter x plus c. The point we have is a half 2. Put that in, and we get 2 equals an 8 plus c. Uh, so c is um, 15 over 8. Right? So the answer for part 1 is y equals 1 over 4x plus 15 over 8. Did anybody get that? I do like new ideas. Ooh, yeah. Problem. <laughs> okay. B. Find where this line meets the x-axis. Okay. So here, what's y equal to? Yeah. Zero. And you get uh, fifteen. Minus 16 over, so. Yeah, so if I multiply both sides by 4, I get x is minus 15 over 2. Super? Super duper. Uh, find, the, find the length of PQ. Well, if you look at the graph, I'll just draw it here. You have. Wait, slow, slow down. You have this line here. When x is 4, what's the height? Uh, we put 4 into this. 1 over 4 times 4 is 1, plus 15 over 8 is 24, 23 over 8. So this is 23 over 8. Now, there's also a curve going down here. This curve its height at 4 will be 1 over 4. So if you want the length here, it's 23 over 8 minus 1 over 4, which is 21 over 8. Yes? It's only supposed to be two marks, you know? D. Find the shaded area. Mm -mm -mm. I hate this one. But uh, what I found out, can we just like do it like this? Like yeah, split into two is what I was thinking. Two. So the first part is from zero to a half. And that's under the line. So what's the line here? Uh, a quarter x plus, what did I get? 15 over 8. And then the second half is under the curve. 1 over 2 to 4. 1 over x dx. Is that the yes, it is. I broke it into two. So, this equals a half x squared plus 15 over 8x, a half zero, plus log x, four and a half. An eight plus 15 over 16 minus 0 plus 0 
plus log 4 minus log a half. Uh, that would be log 8. That's 17 over 16 plus log 8. Write your answer in the form of a plus log b, where a is a fraction and b is an integer. Done! Ethan, yes. Can we go like this? Like what? Um, I divided into um, I divided into two parts. Mm -hmm. This square part. Yeah. In this yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I did. Yeah, and just like put it like this. Like you can get the area of the square, and you can also add up the integrals of the this part of this graph below. From but this isn't a square though. Oh, the trapezoid. Yeah. Oh, the trapezoid rule. Yeah. You want your trapezoid plus. So, yeah, this rule. But if you remember, Bad used to ask me this question as well in class. And I said, yeah, and I said, that's fine. But uh, actually, maybe for this question, it would be a little quicker to do it that way. Yeah. But the trapezoid rule isn't, isn't actually on the syllabus or in the formula book, so that's why I don't do it this way. Oh. But that is fine if you do it that way in the exam. Okay. I just split it into, like, I made it square, and this side, you see, yeah. Like this uh, is that okay, Karen? Get the area of the square. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Wait, guys, guys, wait, guys, guys, Ian, Yusuf, Saini, Karen, Nadia, Sari, Lucas. Um, I've just finished sec. Oh, listen to me. I've just finished section B. There isn't time to do section A, but before we go, can you please read section A now, and I can do one or two which you feel like you can't do. That's the answer, right? That's the answer, right? I will give you three questions in section A. All right, we've already have one now. Eight. Okay, I will do A8. Anybody? First come, first serve. Nadia's getting all the choices. Nobody else is giving any. Okay. These are the three I'm going to do. Let's start with A5. A5. 2 power x squared times 2 power x equals 1. 1 is 2 power 0. So 2 power x squared plus x equals 2 power 0. So uh, yeah, they see screwed it up now. Uh, so you have x, x plus 1 equals 0. So x equals 0 or minus 1. And you've wasted one of your wishes. Uh, gone. <laughs> All right. A6 next. y equals 1 over x plus 1. Find the tangent at the point 2 and 1 and a half. Right. So dy dx equals minus 1 over x squared, but x is equal to 2, so that's minus a quarter. So we get y equals minus a quarter x plus c. Put that in. We get 3 over 2 equals minus a half plus c, so c equals 2. So the answer is y equals minus a quarter x plus 2. Outrageous. That is disgraceful. How bad of me. Uh, right. So I should multiply by 4. 
So I get x plus 4y minus 8 equals 0. No, because the question says a, b, c are integers, and integers are like this, not fractions. And what was the last one we said? Um, Eight. Uh, yeah. I think, uh, can I just see the B6 area answer again? Sorry. No problem. Did I make a mistake? Yeah, I think me or you did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One of us, right. Yeah. What? I, oh, because like I get uh, LN8 plus 31 over 32. So, did I do something wrong here? If I put in a half, is this an 8? Four yeah. Eight and this is 15 over 16. Yeah. But, no matter. Our friend, the calculator, will give us the exact answer, and then we'll know. Yeah, yeah, right. So, let's see. Uh, integrate 0 to a half. And you agree that my function is right, 1 over 4, it is 1 over 4x plus 15 over 8, yeah? Yeah. Agreed? Agreed? Okay. Yeah. And the next uh, integration is plus integrate, it is a half to 4, right? Yeah, yeah. And it is 1 over x, come on. Dun 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 dun! Oh shit! <laughs> now let's see. Oh 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 oh! Wait, oh wait, wait, wait. No, I get I get the same answer with my calculator. All right, so I made a mistake. Yeah. That's not great. Uh, okay. Log uh, eight plus seventeen over sixteen. No different. Different. What did I just get? Uh, oh. Yeah. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where's my mistake then? Ah! Wait! Here's my mistake, guys! In B6 I made a mistake here. That's not 2! It's, no, it's not 4! It's 8! <laughs> so this should have been um, 8 times 4. 32, right? Uh, so that should have been 31 over 32. Thank you! Uh, 31 over 32. Mm -hmm. That's what I get for not using the calculator so much. Okay, can you fix that please? And then I'll just finish now uh, A8. Mm -hmm. Can I scroll down? Right. A8, last one. Y equals minus X cubed plus AX squared plus a squared x plus b. It crosses the y-axis at 0 minus 11. Okay, so let me put that in. I don't even have to do it. You can see that b must be minus 11 then. And it has a stationary point at 3. So what's the derivative here? Minus 3x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. And that should equal zero when x equals three. Nine twenty-seven plus six a plus nine equals zero. Uh, that is eighteen uh, a is three. Perfect. Yeah. Dun 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 two possible values for A. But I don't have a quadratic, do I? You forgot you did cut in nine. <laughs> like A square. Now leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Minus uh, twenty seven. Plus six A. Six A plus a squared equals zero. A squared plus 6a minus 27 equals zero. Uh, a minus what's it going to be? 3 and 9? Yeah, 3 and 9. 3 and minus 9. Plus 9 minus 3. So a equals 3 or minus 9.
Okay. Test tomorrow, half nine, isn't it? Suppose I better print your exam. I asked Donald about supply thing, and he said that's how it works. <laughs> he just said like. But he basically said, "Screw you." Yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Well, yeah. it's an important lesson in life: disappointment. Yeah. You should learn it young. It's yeah. easier that way." I think I'm old enough to know. Okay, you've learned this lesson, though. Right, good. <laughs> Okay, I'll see you tomorrow in the test.